Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Brian Pipping with Bay Life Church in Fairhope. Now, I caught up with him while out in the field reporting. So today, he's in his office and I'm in the front seat of my car. This Sunday is Easter Sunday, the most important day in Christianity. We're talking about his Easter message. I start by asking him to expound on the message, Jesus rose again so we can begin again. Everyone on the planet really has uh, a different life experience, but we also have a shared life experience in that uh, we're all broken. We're all kind of a mess. Um, and uh, that's really why Jesus came, came to fix that. In a single word, uh, he said, I've come that you might have life and have it abundantly. It was the Apostle Paul who said, uh, that if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has passed away, the new has become. And that's really what makes the message of Easter so compelling and so encouraging is that Jesus rose again so that we could begin again. So how can we get a fresh start with Christ? <laughs> you know, that, that really is the critical issue. You know, so often we think that uh, because we're a mess, we need to clean ourselves up spiritually uh, before Jesus will have anything to do with us. When in actuality, it's the opposite that's true, that we need to admit that we're broken and we're a mess. Uh, the Apostle Paul said uh, that God showed his love for us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us while we were still broken and he rose again so we can begin again. The global pandemic has really a profound impact on churches because public gatherings, especially last year at Easter, they were suspended. And a lot of people found it easy to drift away from church, some cases drifting away from their faith. How do you, how do people get past their own self-doubt in renewing a spiritual life? Yeah. You know, that's, uh, that's such a critical question. You know, 2020 rerouted our whole lives, every aspect of it. And the church was no different. I mean, our church had to be closed to public gatherings for over half a year. And that really disrupted the faith experience of so many. And, you know, when we feel distant from one another, quite often we feel distant from God. And uh, if, if that's where you're at, uh, it's important to understand that, that God loves you and he's coming in search of you. And Jesus told several stories about how he went in search of lost things. Uh, probably none more memorable than the story about the shepherd who had a hundred sheep and left 99 in order to go in search of the one that was lost. You know, if you feel distant from God, know this, that he loves you and he wants you to come home. God's trying to win you back, not pay you back. So how does a person maintain a relationship with Christ? Well, you know, there are some spiritual practices that really help with that. Uh, we can strengthen our relationship with Christ by spending time in his word and time in prayer, but equally important is uh, spending time with a church family. And uh, being back in church this Easter Sunday morning would be a great start. If anyone in your audience uh, is looking for a church and hasn't found one yet, Bay Life Church would be a great place to begin again. You know, there's an old joke in Christianity that some people are only Christmas and Easter Christians. How do you welcome new people into a church, into a place that they may not go very often? Yeah, you know, it, we really, at Bay Life, we really try to set things up so that when someone walks through the door, it feels like they're coming home. Uh, we're very intentional about that. We expect to see visitors who maybe haven't been in church that's Brian Pipping with Bay Life Church in Fairhope. We thank him for joining us for this edition of Faith Time. And News 5 this morning will continue after the break.